Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Hanko Trident. And this is the Tesseract Twist. So I went with Tesseract pattern here and twist pattern on the head. Uh, came with this Hanko Machine Works clip. This is a Steel Flame clip, so I believe it's a different company that makes the clips. And then this has a cool retaining ring for the switch. I haven't messed with it, mostly because I just, I know I'm going to slip out of those and then I'm going to end up scratching something in there and I really don't want to do that. But it looks pretty straightforward. You just, you know, pop something in there and then twist around and it'll come out. Uh, and then it should go in just like any other McClicky switch. But it's cool that it's like that. I do wonder if there's an O-ring somewhere that makes it uh, waterproof. Because that's the one thing about the O-rings that they provide is waterproofing to an extent. So hopefully there's something there that does that. Because um, otherwise you just have that brass ring up against the switch, right? Um, so I probably should ask about that, but I didn't. Uh, the emitters in here are, uh, trying to remember, Samsung, I believe, uh, 351D 4000K emitters. And I believe that's what all Hankos ship with. This has the uh, TriStart or TriStar, I'm not sure which one, uh, threads. So when you go to put it on the body, it is a very interesting uh, feel. So you'll see, right, I'll get it started and uh try to see if i can get it to there so let me put my finger here i don't know how i'm going to show you this but when you twist like that was a full rotation right there and then it's like another half i mean it's not even two full rotations to get the head on and off but yet it travels i did find that it, it seems a little harder to get started um, I don't think you can cross thread it because it just won't work. Um, well, maybe it's not harder. Maybe I'm just pussyfooting it. But let me grab another light to show you what I mean. So, there's all different kinds of threads, obviously. And a lot of them are the same. So if you grab a uh, older Hanko, because actually the older ones don't have these TriStar, TriStart uh, threads, but the new ones do. So the older ones are the same as like a Okluma DC-1. They're the same as like a Deadwood Custom. They're the same as, um, I think, CWF. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that are all the same threads. And essentially, what you'll see is, break the, I'll just break it there so it's starting to loosen, right? We're going to have to do, let's say, one, two, three, three and a half, four maybe, rotations to get the head off of uh, this Okluma. See that? How many times I have to twist? So I'm always surprised every time I remove the head on my Hanko, I go like this and I go, oh, and I feel like I'm going to drop it because I'm so used to having to twist more that I, I like let go to start another rotation. Because what I'll do is I'll go like this, twist around, let go, twist around, right? And kind of do that. So you go to twist and let go and the head like just pops right off. Uh, but what you'll see is... It's not really any shorter in terms of the amount of threads. I mean, if we line these up to where the threads start, I'll try to do this. Is it like right there? Or well, those are the O rings meeting. It's actually a little taller on the Hanko. If I line up the O rings in person, yeah. It's about the same, honestly. They match up about perfectly. But. And I don't think there's any more threading. It's just that it it is a shorter process. I don't think this will fit on here. 
I don't think you can put, since it has those threads, I don't think you can put anything else on it. If I remember correctly. And it shouldn't go the other way either. Yeah, so you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't, I'm not going to go crazy here, but you can't use it on the other one. Because you used to be able to swap, like, the threads were the same. So you could swap drivers from a Hanko into an Okluma and whatever. But Hanko decided somewhere along the way to make it easier to get the head off. So once you get it started, man, it just pops right on. And then I really like how it doesn't, like, on a lot of them. I don't have my Citadel here. But on a lot of them, you have to, like, really crank it to get it fully tight. What I mean by that is, like, it'll just keep tightening, like, you can go tighter. So that's what I do. I want to go as tight as I can. With this, it just stops right there. And I can't go any further. No matter hard, how hard I twist. But then when I want to loosen, it's always just a simple little... It's, it's amazing. It really is. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Is it's amazing. It has a Dr. Jones driver in here while I have it open. Copper pill, Dr. Jones driver, triple emitters, uh, Samsung 351D, 4K... Um, all Hanko shit with that as far as I know. And then it has an optic. I don't know what optic. It looks to be uh, maybe frosted a little bit and wide. Uh, I need to ask them which optic they use because I do like it. Um, but just to show you the different threads, I showed you the Okluma. The Boss has really good threads as well. Um, and they're just wider. Like, see how wide those threads are? This is a different type of threading. And this is great. Uh, this is great as well. But it has more twists to it. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But it just has more twists to it. Um, so that's the uh, boss. This one has crazy big threads. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that wild? I don't know what those are. But um, it works great. I really like it. That's the Pele. Uh, Magizmo does it differently too. They have a whole different setup, honestly. But I don't know what threads they use. Ah, let me make sure it's tight. I do find it harder to start on this one. Any of the ones with springs in there are usually. Actually, I don't think that has springs. I don't know. Uh, and then Barrel has. Very small thread, so it takes really long to thread it off, and then it takes forever to get a a, head, a pill out. You're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that I think might be the mostly the reason why he did the tri start, so you can get the pill and everything in there quicker instead of like, I mean, look at this. It's literally like ten rotations, which to me is somewhat good because it's never gonna just loosen off. But when is it? I've never had a head just be loose in my pocket. As long as I tightened it down, I've never had it be loose. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. It's just, there's a lot of different ones. Uh, I guess, I guess I can show you size comparisons while we're here. So let's just do that. Um, here's the Hanko Trident. 18350 size, triple emitter. Here's another one. This is the barrel rail. About the same size, maybe a little bit longer on the rail. Here's the Magizmo Haiku with the uh, 16340 body. A little bit longer as well. The Boss is going to be a little bit shorter, I think, but not by much. And the DC Zero is a very uh, solid comparison to the Hanko Trident. Um, it's a little bit longer. Okay, and then the Pele is the last one I have here right now. Also, a little bit longer. Yeah, actually, quite a, not not a lot, but in general, I guess it's more than the other ones. So that's size comparisons and everything. I love the feel of this in the hand. It's just excellent. Um, you have a really good cigar grip because you can come back to here and then you grip right there, and it's good to go. Um, it clicky switch, so you know you just tap for what you want. I have this set up. This has an H17F Dr. Jones driver. I'm hoping to swap it to a Dragon soon. 
um, just because I want secondary color and I kind of want uh, a cooler light. Although this is really growing on me, the uh, 4K. Um, and they do get really bright, those Samsung emitters. But um, I have it set up for a low, medium, high. Uh, sorry, a moonlight, low, medium. And then I have turbo where you double tap for high. So that way I only have to cycle through three and none of them are blinding. And then if I ever need it, I just give it the double tap for turbo. And you can see how cool that light is or warm, sorry. Right, see how warm that is? Here's, um, what should I show you? What do I know is 5K? I think this Pele is. See that? See how cool that is compared to this one? Now, I think, I don't know. In practice, I preferred this. But now I'm starting, I don't know. I do like this. And this obviously has a different beam. I mean, this one has a hot spot. So the optic in here, and I think because it's set back further into the bezel, see how this has this longer portion of titanium at the front than this? Or most lights, honestly. It gives it more of a hot spot feel. Um, and then the optic in there must be a, a very narrow one, but it gives you that kind of hot spot where this gives you a, a lot more of just like a flood. And I don't know if that has something to do with the color and the optic or what, but I think they have a wide optic in here. So, I mean, the brighter you go, it just gets more and more floody and less hot spotty, right? Where this you get a lot of hot spot, which I like, but just different. Um, so that's 5K. This is probably a um, um, 219C, but I'm not positive. The boss has a, a 519A, 4500K. It's probably the perfect temperature. Just touch the lens. Oops. Um, probably the perfect temperature, in my opinion, because... It's just such a great balance for me. It's right in the middle. You get a little bit of cool, you get a little bit of warm, um, and you get a great beam. Oh, man, that 519A is just gorgeous. So if I can just make everything that, I would. So there you go, compared to the 519A. Here is a 4500K from Gizmo. This is a 119V from Nichia. So again, a little bit cooler, but not crazy. And this one obviously has a lot more hot spot. This is another Samsung. Um, this is the 351D in 5K. And uh, the 5K gets, starts to get really green looking, where this doesn't, which is nice. Um, so I definitely prefer this over this. And then this one has uh, Cree XPL something. And I think it's supposed to be 4K, but it doesn't look like it right now. But it always depends on the brand and all that shit. So, uh, but I'm not positive this is 5K or 4. Um, but this is very cool. I don't know. I don't love this color very well. Prefer the Hanko. So anyway, there's just some comparisons. I, I really like the stock driver. I really like the stock LEDs. Um, I just want secondary lights. So that's always my hang up with um, ones that have the Dr. Jones driver. As much as I love the Dr. Jones driver because I can go ultra low on moonlight and set up whatever I want, um, I can't get secondary colors. And that's the, the rub for me. Um, I did not disassemble this uh, because it's a Hanko and it was you know, seven, eight hundred bucks. I prefer to just not mess it up on accident. Um, when I, if I get a driver for it, I'll have to, obviously, but it looks pretty straightforward. Um, I don't see the O ring, which I really like. On most lights, you're going to see the O ring right there. See that black thing? That's the O ring. See that black thing? The ring right there between the titanium and the glass. That's the O-ring. That's the O-ring. That's definitely the O-ring. 
On this, they have a glow ring. So when you turn it off, oops, you can see it glow. There's a little glow ring and there might even be another O-ring in there too. Might be two. The only other light I've seen without an O-ring is the CWF Peanut. I'm waiting on a couple of, oops, I'm waiting on a couple of Arcadians to come in. Um, the more full size version of this. But if you look at this, the way Charles does it, there's no O-ring. I don't know if it's because the O-ring is on the outside. I mean, there is an O-ring. Don't get me wrong. There is an O-ring in there, but you don't see it, which I really like. I really appreciate that. It just makes it look cleaner. It makes it look way nicer like this, doesn't it? Doesn't that look awesome compared to having a little black O-ring in there? Not the end of the world or anything, but I think it's very, very cool. So that's a little machining thing or whatever that people don't notice. And here it is on this. Just beautiful, beautiful bezel. What I really love about this light is, and here's a size comparison to the peanut, if you're curious. The peanut's very small. Um, what was I saying? Oh. The machining on this bezel, the crenulating, is absolutely stunning. Look at that. I mean, that's obviously the thing here is the machining from uh, Jeff Hanko is just next level good. Uh, you do see the seam here, but it's kind of chamfered on both sides. So it's meant for you to see it, um, but it's supposed to look nicer, right? Instead of having just a seam that is as tight as possible, which by the way, this is very well done. It's very tight. There are some I've seen where you can't even see the seam. Um, instead of doing it like this, he's showing the seam, but kind of making it a stylistic thing, which, you know, I like that. I think that's cool. There's different ways to go about it. And then obviously you have the patterns, right? You have the Tesseract, which is this square pattern all around. And then you have the twist up here. So you can, if you order one directly, um, if you're, you know, uh, able to or lucky enough, however you want to put that, um, or you, yeah, I guess you could win one in a lotto. If you join their Facebook group, you can see uh, there's lottos usually every week for a couple. Um, and basically, they can do full pattern or half. So, like I said, I went with Tesseract Twist, but you could do full twist. You could do full Tesseract. They have a reactor pattern. They have a proto pattern. They have a um, gunner pattern. They have the twist, and I think there might be one other one I can't think of. And then they have, obviously, different materials. You know, you're going to have Zerk. You're going to have Thai. You're going to, I don't know, you might have bronze and stuff like that. Uh, this one is called Camo Thai. So it's like this grayish, bronzish look, grayish, brownish, titanium finish, and it is gorgeous. Um, I'm so glad I went with this. Um, initially, I was a little skeptical, um, but somebody, my friend Artie was like, you know, you want to get the camo tie if you can only have one. And I was like, okay, so I got the camo tie. If I get another one, I'm going stonewash tie to see how that looks. And then if I get another one, I'm going full on satin polished tie, um, which I do plan to get more. I love these. I want to try some different uh, patterns like the reactor pattern. I want to try going full reactor or, you know, that's the cool thing about Hankos. They have different patterns and stuff you can go for. So it's not just the same light in a different color every time or a different material you can actually you know get this you can get the same exact thing but just you know i could do twist tesseract you know what i mean um so it's pretty cool and then i'm sure you could probably just swap heads and stuff to make whatever you want too um so anyway uh this is the uh hanko trident it's fantastic um if you guys watch my dr jones uh programming video you'll know how to program this so i just want to put that out there because if anybody asks they come with the H17F driver.
and I've done a video on how to program it. So I don't want to sit here and go through all that with you, but it's very cool. So it takes 18 350s. It came with a, um, it came with a keep power, I believe. Let me uh, grab it. Yep. Came with this battery right here. Keep power, 18 350, 1200 milliamp. And this one has 10 amps of max uh, discharge, which is great. What did I say? 1200 milliamp. This one is 1100 from Vape Cell. And it also does uh, 10 amp, I believe. So I have a bunch of different ones, but that is the one that came with it. Great battery. I bought some extras. They're on the way. Um, so yeah, this will not be my last Tanko. I love it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, I know it's expensive, but I can see where every dollar went. So I'm cool with it. I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, big shout out to Ken uh, McAfee, who runs the Hanko uh, Facebook group. Uh, he is a uh, really cool dude. I've chatted with him quite a bit. And, um, you know, I hope he's doing well. And uh, go check out the Facebook group. Um, say what's up, to Ken. And uh, Jeff Hanko over there is also awesome, but uh, Ken is kind of the guy who runs the group and handles the, um, you know, communication and stuff, which is cool. So um, if you want to get one of these, you can go to the Facebook group and they do lottos um, pretty routinely. It seems like they drop a couple a week on a lotto system. And then obviously you're going to have people selling and trading in there and stuff like that. So um yeah but shout out to hanko machine works great great flashlight um i can't wait to get more so uh yeah love you guys hope you have a great day and i'll catch you later hey guys kev here and i have the hanko trident and this is gonna be a uh h17f dr jones driver and we're going to be talking about uh, 4000K Samsung LH351D emitters. I believe that's what they're called. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a warmer light. Um, this thing gets really bright, though. I got to give them props for that. These emitters are really, really bright. So... The way I have it set up, which if you don't know, Dr. Jones, you can program however you want, basically. So this is very personal. I have it set to a very low moonlight and then a uh, low and a medium. And then I have turbo for my double click. So we'll see that at the end. Um, so basically moonlight, low, medium, high, if you want to look at it that way, or moonlight, low, medium, turbo. So... Here we go. Moonlight, very dim. I can look at the emitter straight on. It doesn't bother my eyes at all. That's kind of the sign for me of a perfect moonlight when it comes to white light. Um, I want to put a dragon in here just because I want secondaries. So that'll probably happen in the future. But um, in that case, I would just be using the secondary as my moonlight. Uh, but with a white light, if it's going to be white light, I want that moonlight as low as I can get it to where I can just stare at it and it doesn't even bother me. And that is the case here. So fantastic. So we're going to cycle it up. This is going to be low. So I can, you know, see the yard. It's not super bright, nothing crazy. It's got a warmer light. Um, I definitely prefer... A little bit of a cooler light than this uh, for the purpose that right now it's kind of hard for me to see even the stuff that is lit up because it's such a warm light um, it's not bad but I would prefer 5000k so anyway that's low uh, it's not really hitting the trees over there I will say whatever the optic in here is I think it's a very wide optic because it disperses it floods a lot it doesn't have a hot spot really at all okay so that was low here's medium okay so now a lot pretty much all the yard is lit up looks good 
I can, you know, bounce off the truck over there, but it's not really doing anything. The tree is lit up, but again, it's not like super bright. It's just a nice warm color. Uh, I think some people will really like that and others won't. I think it's nice to have some variation, so I do like it. Um, yeah, looks good. And then uh, turbo is going to be a double click. Oh, got to do it right. Hard with gloves. So here's turbo. And this is really, really bright. This is probably the brightest I've had out here on a custom light. With these emitters and this driver, it really pumps. Uh, that whole tree is lit up. The whole yard is lit up all at the same time. <laughs> it's insane. It's like daylight out here. Um, you can see the house just gets blasted. So, really, really good. Yeah. It's a, it's a powerhouse. So, shout out to Hanko. And uh, I love this light to death. Definitely one of my favorites instantly. I love the switch design with the retaining ring. I just love the, you know, aesthetic. And then, you know, it has good uh, performance as well from, from Hanko. So there you go. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Peace.